Hi guys! Okay, today we're going to be recreating Naomi Watts' cover of Allure magazine for November's issue. I love this look because it's so warm and fresh and it's still so glowy, whereas in November a lot of times you see a lot of the dark and a lot of the dark lips and dark eyes and sometimes it's nice to just have something really nice and fresh and velvety and glowy like this one. So we're going to start out with a darker foundation. I'm going to use a darker shade and a, a shade that's about two shades darker than my foundation and or than my regular skin tone and then a shade that's about two shades lighter and I'm going to be using this foundation brush. I like to put it on with a brush because it gives kind of a um, airbrushed finish. This one is It Cosmetics and it's just got two different sides and I'll show you which side we're going to be using. So with the darker shade, I'm just going to go right under my cheekbones and around my forehead and down the sides of my nose. The reason I'm doing this is because this is going to give a really pretty dimension and a really pretty sculpt to the face just like Naomi Watts has on this cover. It's very pretty and fresh looking and it's one of the really big reasons that she looks so glowy and gorgeous. Now with the lighter shade, I'm going to go under the eye above the mouth, on the chin down the center of the nose and between the brows. <clears throat> I'm going to be using the Chanel Hazard for the eyeshadow which is basically just a really ashy subtle purple and I'm going to take a small shadow brush and I'm just going to go from about lid to crease just in kind of a windshield wiper formation. That gives a really subtle, beautiful sculpt to the eye and definition. It also brings out green eyes really well. And I'm just going to take the same smaller shadow brush and rub it along the bottom lash line. I'm going to use a lengthening mascara. Her lashes are still really thin. They're not really plumped up. They're quite lengthened. Now with a big fluffy brush, I'm going to take a warm bronzer. This is... Bobbi Brown medium and go right on the tops of my cheeks, blending kind of up towards your cheekbone, around my chin and on my forehead. Now this look, she is obviously a blonde and I'm a brunette, but I think the only difference really is just going to be the eyebrows. This is going to be a really pretty look for whether you're blonde, brunette, redhead, whatever. It's very natural and subtle, so it's going to work for everybody use the baby lips in this really peachy pretty color which is just a sheer peachy color um, and it's almost like a lip balm so it's really nice to wear every day and you can re in just a few minutes we recreated this gorgeous fresh warm look and I hope you guys loved it